what's up everybody it's your boy king k and in today's video ladies and gentlemen i'm going to be showing you guys how to get yourself your very own input overlay for multiple different inputs on obs just like the one i have in the bottom right corner right here now i'm going to be making this as short and simple as i possibly can if you guys would like to see more of these tip videos when it comes to obs studio stream labs recording streaming all of that good stuff be sure to smash the like button as it shows me you guys are really interested as well as comment down below if you guys are really interested in anything specific and i'll be sure to come back and help you guys as well if you guys are new to the channel be sure to subscribe okay because well then you get to stay in the loop as to all of my new content and if there's any future tip videos and well it really really helps me but anyways with all of that being said without further ado let's get into what you need to do to get your very own input overlay on obs Now down below in the description of this video all the way at the top there is a link to github containing everything that you need in order to get the overlay yourself. Just a few side notes real quick before I get into the how to and what to do's of this video. I just want to make sure that you guys note the following. If you want to have this overlay and we have it actually well working you're required to have visual c++ 2019 redistributables that is a long ass name installed on your computer otherwise the overlay will not work at all the plugin does not work either on streamlabs obs no matter what you do no matter which way you do it the plugin does not work on streamlabs if you guys want an overlay for streamlabs itself i will do some research if you guys request it i'll find you guys an overlay but this only works with obs studio which is fine by me because i don't like streamlabs whatsoever and honestly i prefer obs anyways another side note is that this plugin will not work properly and will often hitch if you run in two different instances of obs but if you've got a setup where you require two different instances then you should run one of the instances in a 32-bit format in order to prevent well the overlay from hitching further on this overlay does actually work with linux but i don't know anything about linux nor do i really care so i cannot really help you there but just you know you could read this and if you want it on linux there you go anyways back to the link i have provided down below this will basically give you everything that you need. There are different variations of this. If you scroll down, there's like different versions. However, I'm just going to be working with 5.0 pre-release as it works perfectly fine, as it gives me any issues, and it's really, really easy. Now, what you want to do is click on the arrow underneath assets, if my thing would work, and there you go. You've got six different files. Now, be very careful as we only want two of the files because a lot of the files here do a bunch of different things such as the source code is obviously how this thing is made as it is completely open and free but it's freeware so you can basically edit it if you if you know coding there's also like the top folder which is a linux zip that is only for linux users so please do not download it there's only two things that you need here which is the preset zip as well as the installation file simply click on each of the files and it will immediately give you the option to save it to your computer once you've downloaded the two files i've told you to download you'll be given an application installation as well as a preset zip firstly you want to unzip this folder and extract it to wherever it doesn't really matter where they are and once you do that you'll be given all of these nice little things right here which is well as the name implies it's presets after you've extracted all of those folders you can get rid of the zip it doesn't really matter as long as you keep the presets file itself and then you want to go ahead and install the plugin itself into obs studio basically you just need to run the installation folder carry on da 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 it'll automatically i'm not going to do it because i've already installed it but it's just going to automatically install itself as a plugin into obs studio within program files if there is an issue there is a way to manually do it i'm not going to be showing you guys how to do that exactly within this video because it's a little bit complicated but if you guys are running into any issues Again, down below in the comment section, let me know. And I'll be sure to come by and show you guys exactly how to do the more complicated installation. All right, so now that you've got the plugin installed through the method that I just showed you guys, under sources, when you click add, you'll have a new source called input overlay. Now, if you're not seeing this in your OBS itself, please make sure to completely close obs studio and restart it as it does not refresh your new plugins or whatever it will only show up once obs has had a chance to restart or if your obs was closed initially and you only open it after you've done the plugin installation then it should show up here as well now i've deleted my keyboard's input overlay because i want to show you guys from scratch on how to do it basically under sources click on add 
and then obviously go to your new source input overlay from here you can name it whatever you want to name it honestly there's multiple different ones i obviously have an existing one for the keyboard that i showed you guys a little bit earlier but for this i'm going to be showing you guys from scratch as i mentioned so i'm just going to name this whatever kb2 keyboard 2 now once you're done naming your new input you'll be presented with this blank image right here and what it's basically telling you is that it requires an image file as well as a config file if you're at this point please do not stress as we have all of these already under our newly extracted presets folder from earlier now firstly for the image file you want to click on browse and go to wherever you've extracted the presets folder open up the presets folder and then depending on what you want you will go ahead and choose your presets off of one of these folders right here obviously you guys can go through it and choose whichever you'd like however i'm just going to go ahead and do the same keyboard overlay that i've had a little bit earlier which is the wasd within the wasd as well as all of the other ones you'll be presented with different images now it is important to note that the image you want is named exactly the same as the folder you just opened up so mine is wasd the image i want is also wasd the other images within whichever folder is basically just preview so if i were to open this up it's just going to show me like kind of how it would look this one is a full preview this one is a minimal preview obviously these look entirely different but we're going to be getting into that in just a bit now once you've opened the image that you want you'll be shown a representation of all of the keys or all of the buttons on your mouse or gamepad it's wild there's a bunch of different things however no matter how hard i smash any of these keys presented on the screen on my keyboard right now none of them will highlight or show or work whatsoever that is because you are required to have the config file in order for the obs plug in itself to showcase what inputs you are using for this you want to go under config file and click on browse now under the exact same folder that you were in to get the image earlier again mine was wasd I want to go into WASD and then I want to click on whichever config file I want. Now the previews earlier had similar names to what these config files had. Depending on what you obviously want to display on your screen, these config files change all of those different keys into specifically what you want. For instance, if I want minimal, I'm going to be opening up this minimal and it's going to change all of those tons and tons of keys into this minimalistic little thing right here. Now if I go ahead and press on my keyboard now thanks to the config file it will actually show all of the keys that i'm using as inputs and there you go you've got yourself an input overlay now, obviously this will change if you go back to browse and you select full for instance on this one it's going to give you the same one that i was using earlier on again all of these keys will now work exactly the same because it has the config file for these specific keys now that you've got the config that you want and the correct image you can go ahead and click ok and well mine is hidden i'm going to unhide it for you guys right here and you guys will basically have your new input overlay nice and sweet and easy of course you can move this to wherever you want it to be you can make it bigger you can make it smaller all of that simple things just like any other image or on overlay or display or whatever you want to call it on obs i'm going to go ahead and move my obs to a different screen right here and as you guys can see all of my keys are working as they are supposed to be working however you may notice that yours is yellow and mine in the beginning of the video was actually red so if you want to customize this further let me show you how to do that quickly so in order to customize the new overlay that you just got you want to go back over to obs studio and under sources where your overlay initially is you want to right click and then open up filters now yours might be blank here obviously i have color correction on but basically just go to the plus button down below and go to color correction and add it once you have color correction added it will basically give you a bunch of options to change a bunch of colors and well you could do it as you please once you've added color correction you can obviously customize all of the colors and a bunch of different things I'm just going to hold down my W key right here. As you guys can see, it's red and yours would be, well, yellow. Now, these obviously do a bunch of different things, such as the gamma will change, well, the general gamma of the middle keys. Contrasting will make this lighter or, well, brighter. Or brightness will also make it. As you guys can see, there's a bunch of different things that you could do with this option. There's also a bunch of different filters you can also add. I suggest you play around with it and customize it as you would like it to be. But basically, just changing the general color of the keys, such as mine right here, I went ahead and did a hue shift. And as you can see, the color drastically changes without changing the white. And you could also change saturation and change the colors further. Once you've gotten the correct color that you want, basically just go ahead and say close. I'm going to bring up my keyboard once again, move it to the middle, and I'm going to change over to my main screen again. Now from here, you guys can see, and man, I really chose a terrible wallpaper for this, but you can see it's red. Okay, it's red with a red background. 
Boohoo. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you have your very own customized input overlay just like mine. It is important to note that you are able to fully customize this further. You could change how the keycaps look entirely, the shapes of it. There's a bunch of different things. I'm not going to go into detail, of course, because, well, you need either different presets or you need to create your own imagery. I'm speaking as in change the fonts on the keys itself or change the entire keycap style. There's a bunch, but I don't really go into that because I'm too lazy to create my own images. However, if you guys want to and can create your own imagery, just go ahead to the link that I provided and browse around on the GitHub. There is an option over there on how to create your own one. And well, just follow the steps and they'll be able to show you exactly how to do it. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we have now reached the end of the video. I try to... I hope I didn't speak too fast. I try to just get through it as quickly as I possibly can and as smoothly as I possibly can. In order to help you guys, I don't want to really make really, really long tutorial videos or tip videos because, you know, people, attention span such as myself will get ADD. So I click off things within the first like 20 seconds if I find it really boring. But I hope this could help you guys and I hope I was clear enough to help you guys in a simple manner. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe down below if you guys want to see more of these tip videos or different tutorials and stuff request it down below in the comment section be sure to smash the like button it shows that you guys enjoy these tip videos and without further ado it's been your boy king k much love to you all i'll be seeing you guys in a new video very very soon or catch me on stream i stream monday to saturday every single evening 7 p.m to around about yeah somewhere around there it's about 7 p.m south african standard time be sure to pop in on the streams also don't forget to tell somebody you love them it's really really important but until next time guys or until stream time Whichever, I'm speaking way too much. I've got way too much energy. Peace.